While Louisiana has been spared from any tropical systems, the month of August saw nearly four months of rainfall in some areas of the state. All that rain has sugarcane farmers scrambling to plant acreage that will be harvested next fall. They are also mindful that this year's harvest is right around the corner. We've got a big sugarcane crop out there. So a lot of mills are gonna be starting in mid-September. So with a very wet August, that really narrows your window of opportunity to get the crop planted. Like the daily scattered showers, some farmers are more than halfway with their plantings, while others are just starting. The rain has hurt planting, but it did have an upside. So the rain we had in very early August and throughout the month has been very beneficial for the crop that's gonna be harvested, but it's put us behind on planting. Some farmers plant soybeans on their fallow ground, harvest those beans and plant sugar cane right after harvesting. Farmers that were able to get their beans out before the rains came will reap the benefits. Those that didn't will be left with beans having significant damage. I've heard a few stories of people who got the beans out early that are cutting 60, 70 bushel beans. Unfortunately, after all this rain down in cane country, the bean crop uh, is gonna get docked at the elevator quite a bit. Because of the improvement of cane variety stubbling abilities, farmers are no longer planting up to one third of their total acreage, which helps shorten the planting time. So right now people are planting somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 percent of their total rotation each year. Gravois said more farmers are going to mechanical and billet planting, which helps speed up the planting process. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting. Sugarcane grinding season in Louisiana is expected to last from mid-September all the way through January, grinding and harvesting every day, rain or shine.